In this video, I will show one way to add color to a black and white pen and ink drawing. In this case, the pen and ink drawing is done on white scratchboard. My goal is to have two pieces of frameable original art, a black and white version and a colored version of the pen and ink scratchboard drawing. I do the black and white pen and ink drawing first. I won't show the process of doing the black and white version in this video. I will just show the process of the color version. I start the color process by screen printing the pen and ink scratchboard drawing onto a new piece of white scratchboard. The drawing is printed using a very light blue ink. The only purpose of this blue line print is to serve as a guide to show where to add color. By the way, the brand name of the board is Ampersand Clayboard. Here is the drawing printed in blue on clayboard. This blue line drawing will be covered up with opaque paint. However, some of the blue line will show through the opaque paint, which will push the final color piece to a bluish color harmony. If you prefer a different color harmony, use your preferred color for the color guide. Use any color you want, but the color still needs to be very light, just dark enough to see. Now, I place the film positive over the blue line print and line it up. The film positive is a copy of the original pen and ink drawing, except that it's enlarged to about 150%. The film positive is printed on acetate so you can see through the pen and ink drawing. I will use the film positive to help me visualize how the color will look through the line work of the pen and ink drawing as I apply the opaque paint. This film positive was also used to expose the screen for the blue line screen print, so it lines up exactly with the printed blue line. It's just a matter now of covering this blue line with opaque paint. I used Liquitex airbrush paint for this. This paint wasn't as opaque as I would have liked, so next time I'm going to try gouache. The blue line shows me where to apply different colors. Blue for the sky. Green for the grass. White for the clouds. And so on. I flip the film positive down occasionally to see how the color is looking with the line drawing. I paint white in the cloud area even though the board is already white. That's because I want to cover up the blue lines of the clouds to make sure they don't show in the final color version. In a later step, the pen and ink drawing will be screen printed over this hand painted color. Ideally, the black of the pen and ink drawing would line up exactly with the blue lines and cover them all up. But that's unlikely to happen. That's why I cover all the blue lines with paint. The idea is to cover the entire surface with paint. As a general rule, I keep the colors no darker than about 25%. The colors aren't meant to add shading. The black line work handles all the shading. If the color gets too dark, it will flatten out the drawing. I take another look through the film positive. And then apply some final touches of paint. I'm happy with the color, and now it's time to screen print the pen and ink drawing over the color. This is a scary step. I get only one chance to get a good print. If the print is bad, then all the work of painting in the colors will be lost. I take the board down and then use the film positive to line up the screen. After the screen is lined up, I remove the film positive. After pulling a few test proofs, I go for it. It's not a perfect print but it's close enough. An advantage I have by doing all this on clayboard is that I can continue working on this color version as I would any scratchboard piece. I can continue to scratch off areas and draw in other areas. And I can even add more color with transparent watercolor. I let the ink dry for a few hours and then take this board back to the drawing board. There is still a considerable amount of handwork to do before this is finished. I used Speedball water-based black poster ink to print the black line work, which was a bit of a mistake. The ink wasn't as water-resistant as I had hoped it would be. Even the moisture from my hand would cause the ink to smudge, so I had to be careful not to touch the surface. I kept the areas not being worked on covered with paper. When I added transparent color, I dry brushed it on. The Speedball ink scratched off cleanly. As clean as India ink. 
Here's the finished color piece. Ready for framing. I hope you like this video. If you did, please click the like button and subscribe. And leave any comments you may have.